Hi and welcome to Azam Sharp YouTube channel. I'm your host Muhammad Azam, and in this screencast, I'm going to talk about a very awesome feature of the MapKit framework and API, MK Local Search Request, which not many people know about. Basically, MK Search Request allows you to search for local businesses. But let's go ahead and first run the application so you know what I'm talking about. So let me go ahead and run it. I have did a little bit of groundwork for the application. So it displays uh, the static list, banks, bars, coffee shops, gas stations. And let's say that I want to find out all the coffee shops near where I am right now. So we already have some code that will zoom in and show my current location, okay? But it doesn't show any coffee shops near me. I mean, it would be really cool if I can look at all the coffee shops over here. And that is exactly what the NK map request is all about. So let's see, MK local or is it SK or MK local search request that is responsible for finding out uh, the local businesses near your location. All right. So let's go ahead and create this request. And we can create it just by using the default initializer. It takes a natural language query parameter or a property where you can pass in anything. So I can actually say over here, coffee, and it will work as expected, right? But I'm already passing something called place from the previous screen. So I can simply say over here, place dot title that will work so coffee shops the other parameter is the region where should it look for so we need to create that region so we don't have anything called region so let's go ahead and create a region region mk let's see mk region coordinate region and then we can pass in the center and also the span or we can simply create it using the default parameters so now region dot center equals to so let's see what center is all about center is of type cl location coordinate 2d cl location coordinate 2d and we can create an instant passing in the latitude and longitude we can get the latitude and longitude I believe from the user location dot coordinate dot latitude and self dot map view dot user location dot coordinate dot longitude. Okay, let's go ahead and build this. And the build actually failed because we have used let. So let's go ahead and change that to var and build it again. So now we have our region where we want to search for the local businesses. Now we have to make something called the search. So MK local search, let search equals to MK local search, which ironically takes a request. And good thing is that we already have a request because we have created our request on line number 70, which is right here. And now we can execute the request. So start the request. It's going to give us a response and it's going to give us some sort of an error if uh, there's something wrong, hopefully not. Let's go ahead and build that. And that is okay. Let's go ahead and print out response.mapItems response.mapItems is going to contain basically all the different map items, all the different uh, locations that will satisfy whatever we selected, like coffee shop or hospital or banks. All right, so let's put a breakpoint over here on line number 77 and let's go ahead and run the application. And I'm going to select coffee shops because I like to drink coffee. And since it is running in a simulator, you will see that it will show me that I am in K 
California. So let's go ahead and select coffee shop and okay so we still need to find that method so let's go ahead and uncomment this guy out populate nearby sources or nearby places and let's go ahead and run it of course if you don't call that method it's never going to request the mk local search request coffee shops and let's see if we can get something out of it and here we go it is getting something out of it. Error is nil, meaning it's good, it's no error. Let's go on the next line and see if it displays. And look at that, look at all of that. You see that in the console? These are all different kind of coffee shops that it has located, which is near where I am or near where the person is. Right? That is really, really awesome. Now, in the next step, what we are going to do is we are going to put all those pins on the screen so that we can see those coffee shops on the map. But before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about my awesome course, which is Mastering Server Side Swift. Now, this course is going to teach you everything you need to learn about the Swift language. It's going to the, the Swift language on the server using Vapor. And this is where the direction of Swift is heading. This is a new frontier for the Swift language. And you can see it's a three and a half to four hour course, which is going to teach everything that you can imagine about creating your back end services in Swift language and even deploying it to the production. And guess what? You can use the code I love Swift to save 74%. You can follow this URL or click on the link in the description. And uh, I'll be really, really happy if you purchase that and learn about server side Swift because this is the future of the Swift language. All right, let's get back to it. So now we need to first make sure that we have the response. I'm going to say guard let response equals to response. Uh, if there is no response, I'm just going to uh, get out of that. Um, response will have items. So response has map items. Let's go ahead and say response.map items. It's not coming up. Here we go. And map items is basically where it has everything. Uh, like it will have, I'm not sure why it's complaining over here. Mm -hmm. uh, cannot use optional changing non-optional value. I believe I have uh, not use anything. Delete the, let's go ahead and build it. I don't know why it would complain. Definitely something wrong with the X score, but here we go. We didn't really change anything. At least I don't see anything being changed. All right, so let's go ahead and create our annotation, all right? So we can create a very simple annotation and let's see if we can get a MK pin annotation to work. So we have a pin annotation, but we can use a point annotation, which actually uses the pin annotation view. Annotation dot coordinate, which will be item dot uh, coordinate it doesn't have any coordinate so item dot place mark dot coordinate and annotation dot title equals to item dot name maybe all right so now we can actually go ahead finally add it to our map view so map view dot add annotation and passing in the annotation now since the map view is actually a UI element i would actually put it on a different queue or on the main queue so async and copy this line of code and over here so that everything is executed on the main thread because the start response is going to be in a background thread or a separate thread let's go ahead and run this and hopefully if i select coffee shops 
it will display all the pins related to the coffee shop near my current location. So let's go ahead and run it. It's going to zoom in, hopefully, and boom. These are all the coffee shops near my location. If I click on it, well, it has a different uh, problem, but we can easily fix that because I'm not passing a custom stuff over here. I believe it's map item. Okay, so that's okay. Uh, we can actually create a place annotation. I guess I can use a place annotation over here, which is my custom annotation. Let's go ahead and build that. And place annotation has something called map item. And I can assign a item over here. You don't have to do that. I was doing something, uh, some animations. So that's why I'm using my place annotation, which is a custom annotation that I made and passing is the map item. And now you should be able to see what it was actually doing. So let's go ahead and run the application. Now if I click on this, you see this pops out like in an animated fashion. So that was the reason that I was using a uh, map item and passing a custom map item. And you can see it really nicely pops up and shows the current location. Now, the great thing about this is that all the code is actually available online. If you go to my, if you just search Azam Sharp GitHub and the Near Me app, you will have all the code that you need to build this application. All right. Thank you very much. And thank you for supporting my Udemy channel and and you can still get a very good discount if you use I Love Swift. You can save 74%. Hope you like this video. Thank you very much. Have a great day.